Hey everyone, it's your girl Layla. Welcome back to my channel. Okay guys, so I have been gone for a minute on my channel. I don't know if this is my first video back. I'm gonna try to post a vlog before this one so you guys can kind of get to know where I went and all that stuff, but I'll briefly explain in this video. I have been in Asia for the past three weeks. I have been exploring Japan. I have been in the Philippines and then back to Japan again. And I made this very, very impulsive purchase. I literally, went to Ginza because I wanted to go to my favorite store which is Midoriya and it's like my favorite eBay store. I bought my Louis Vuitton Vernice bag from there and I was just really excited to go and see it in real life and I think at most I was probably gonna get or I was gonna try to get a vintage Louis Vuitton you know, multicolor monogram wallet or makeup bag. That's what I was looking for. I was gonna spend like $800 Canadian max on whatever I was gonna get, but that didn't happen. Midoriya was actually shut down because they were renovating the whole entire building. The door of the building was actually like still open. Like you could go inside, but it was all construction. And the store said it was temporarily closed on Google until like mid April until they finished renovations. So I ended up finding another one of my favorite stores called Brandoff and I have purchased from Brandoff a few times now. I bought a Louis Vuitton wallet from there. I bought my, one of my dream bags, the Louis Vuitton Luminous PM I got from there as well. So I have bought from Brandoff before and I finally got to see the store in real life. I wasn't gonna buy anything and then impulsively, my mom convinced me, <laughs> really. It was mostly my mom. She was like, you know, you work so hard. You, you've you been picking up so much overtime. You've been picking up all these extra hours. Why don't you just treat yourself? So this happened, okay? I did buy my first real Chanel bag and I got it in Brandoff in Tokyo, in Ginza to be exact. And here it is. Ah, okay, so I'm gonna be showing you guys this today. By the way, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead, click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. I'm getting back into it, you guys. It's been a minute since I've uploaded a video. I haven't taken time off of YouTube since 2016, so it was very weird not having videos to upload, but I'm back, the bag. <laughs> the bag is a little bit destroyed because, you know, this, this went with me from Japan to the Philippines and then the Philippines back to Japan and then Japan back to Canada. So this bag has been through the ringer, okay? This has been in two different luggages and the actual Chanel bag, I I treated like my baby, okay? It was in my carry-on at all times. That carry-on bag never left my sight, especially in the Philippines because I literally was scared that someone was gonna steal this from me or someone was gonna steal my carry-on bag and I was gonna be down a lot of money, okay? So first things first, I could definitely sell this bag here in Canada and get a lot more money for it than I paid, but this has been a dream bag of mine for so long. I've been wanting this bag for the longest time and it is a Chanel classic flap, by the way. So let's take her out, let's show her to you guys and I can show you my first real Chanel bag. Oh my God, I'm so excited. So, okay, it comes in this. There's no dust bag or anything like that because this is such an old bag. This is a vintage bag. And I think my goal with vintage Chanel, I've always wanted a vintage Chanel. I was honestly gonna get it from either Brandoff or Midoriya, but on eBay and then just ship it to Canada. But it's better, you know, to see it in real life and pick and choose. And honestly, the prices for Chanel bags have gone up so much in the past, you know, five, 10, 15 years that the real Chanel bags, the brand new Chanel bags are completely unattainable for me. I'm not spending 10 grand on a bag when I have issues with my car, you know, like when I want to buy a new car, <laughs> I'm not gonna be spending 10K on a bag. So, Getting a vintage bag was always something that I wanted and something that was fully in my budget 
and at this moment it's fully in my budget but like you know in the next five years it might not be like this might be worth 10k in five years you know what i mean so my goal with the vintage chanel bag was to either get a classic flap or a lady diana or it's just maybe it's just called diana the chanel diana bag so either one of those two would have been fine i wanted it in the range of late 1980s to early 1990s i specifically wanted it to be my birth year okay i wanted it to be 1991. this it has like i looked up the date code and this is in between the years of 1986 and 1992. i don't think that there is a specific way to look for a specific year as far as the date codes go because this is I believe a six digit code anyways I did look it up and it said in between the years of 1986 and 1992 also this bag is gold plated with 24 karat gold so definitely 100% worth it let's go ahead and show her to you so this is my vintage Chanel classic flap and she is absolutely stunning she is not perfect okay there is a few scuffs and scratches and everything like that but this bag keep in mind is between 35 like between 30 i'm like how old am i <laughs> it's between 31 and 38 years old so this bag is old okay she's been through it and she's in really great condition for the age that she is however there is you know some scratches and stuff like that on the hardware and that's to be expected about you know and that's to be expected my mom also was wondering why like the quilting and everything was so flat because on you know a brand new chanel bag this quilting would be a little bit puffier but of course she's old old okay she is she's in great condition for how old she is but you know all vintage bags i've noticed have like a flatter you know it's not as pillowy as a new chanel bag would be but yeah this bag is absolutely absolutely stunning let's like bring her close to the camera to show her what to show you guys you know up close what she looks like and all of that good stuff so that is the front of the bag the turn log is super beautiful, has some scratches, but you can tell that this is 24 karat gold plated. Like, it is a beautiful shade of gold. All vintage Chanel's have this little marking in the corner of the C's right there. And then let's open her up. Again, really just great condition on this bag. She still smells like leather, okay? After almost 40 years, she still smells just like leather. It's just, it smells expensive and oh, I absolutely love it. So here is what the top part looks like. It does have that letter holder here at the top. I wanna quickly show you guys the back of the bag as well. It does have that pocket there at the back. Also, this bag is really heavy, <laughs> you know, for, for it to have like nothing in it. And stuff like that it is a very heavy bag it feels like it's really good quality and of course like i said it's 24 karat gold plated so the chain is actually really heavy duty and really heavy there is again like i said that there is a few scratches here and there but overall like i cannot believe that this is a you know 30 something year old bag and it's still in such amazing quality like it's whoever owned this bag took really 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 good care of it like i said there is a few scratches <laughs> this honestly could have been for me okay that could have been for me i have long sharp nail scratches <laughs> this honestly could have been for me okay that could have been for me i have long sharp nails so i have to be really careful when i'm carrying this bag that i don't like scratch anything but there is that little nail mark up there but other than that like the corners look great there's no really any wear on the corners of this bag or anything like that like it but this is the handle and all of that it is so beautiful i wish you guys could feel how amazing this feels like it's just a very heavy duty quality just i cannot get over how amazing this bag is i went back and forth between like do i want to purchase this do i not want to purchase it am i gonna regret it if i don't 
all of this stuff, getting the bag, bringing it to the Philippines. Again, like the Philippines part of my trip was not my favorite part and I, I'll talk about that later in a vlog and stuff like that, but I really like regretted bringing this to the Philippines. I did not want to, but it survived. And the inside of the bag just looks like this. So I'm not gonna like, open it too much see that's what the inside of the bag looks like there's not really any you know like there's not a lot of wear and tear happening on the inside of this bag at all anything like that like it's just really 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 well taken care of and i really appreciate that there is this middle compartment here again same thing doesn't really have any wear and tear really I mean, oh, I just absolutely adore this bag. I think it is amazing. It does have the Flox hardware, not the Chanel hardware. It does have the Flox hardware. So if I can show that to you, that is what the little button thing looks like. I'm hoping that this is gonna focus, but it does say Flox on there. So that is definitely a major thing with vintage bags. They used Flox hardware back then. So I'm just gonna restuff this with a shirt. I just have this in here to keep. I think it's a great way to store your bags. If you, you know, have an old t-shirt or something like that, you can stuff it on the inside. It just keeps it shape. What I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna keep the chain on the outside for now, just because I don't wanna put any extra wear on the sides of the bag or anything like that. So I'll probably just store it like this, but how, oh my gosh, how stunning is this? I'm just so, 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 so freaking excited for this bag and I'm gonna take care of her for sure. I really am the type of person that does take really good care of their bags. Like you should see all my bags. I, I take good care of even the ones that I get from DH. Like I really, just like the way I store things and stuff like that. I'm just really gonna take care of her and you know, make her last another, you know, 40 some years. <laughs> so I am very just overall over the moon excited for this find. And if you are, you know, going to Tokyo, if you are going to Japan or anything like that, there is a ton. I'm not even kidding, a ton of these stores that sell designer items that are used and, you know, they're like, I guess, consignment shops. They don't take bags from people that don't live in Japan. So you don't have to worry about authenticity and everything like that. You, there's a whole industry based on like used Japanese items and stuff like that on like, you know, designer pieces. There is no shortage of designer stores in Japan. There are Chanel stores galore. There's Louis Vuitton stores, Balenciaga, Gucci, all those brand name stores everywhere. So you honestly, like I don't even think twice about authenticity or something like that because I have been purchasing used pieces use designer items from japan for many years now and you know they're just amazing this is just an amazing find and i just can't believe that this is in my hands and i can't believe i own a real chanel bag because i honestly didn't think this this would ever happen because of how high chanel bags are priced at these days they're 10k for a brand new chanel bag so i just didn't think that this was attainable anymore and the fact that i have one and it's in my hands and the quality and just like the way this feels is amazing. So that is all for my purchase. If you're watching this from Patreon, thank you so much. I'll see you next week with a new video. And if you're watching this from YouTube, if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and click that subscribe button below. I upload three times a week, Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you're interested in more bag reviews or that sort of thing, definitely check me out on Patreon. The link will be in the description box below as well. And yes, I'm super excited. So I will be doing more Japan content really soon and I will see you next time. Bye.